In this exercise, we will cover the maintenance procedures for our 22,000 Barracuda rotary shotgun tools. We offer two different 22,000 Barracuda models. They are identical in their technical specifications, with the only difference being the BCK model features a 2-jet head, while the BCK P2 has a 4-jet head. Both are pressure rated up to 22,000 PSI, with flows up to 15 gallons per minute. Today we'll tackle the BCK model, however the maintenance procedures are the same for both models. Before we begin, let's look at the tools required for Barracuda service and overhaul. You'll need an adjustable wrench, a pick, ratchet wrench with 9 16 inch socket, blue goop anti-seize, modified snap ring pliers, slot screwdriver, a 5 32nd inch hex wrench, a syringe, and grease. A press will also come in handy when installing the shaft seals and a little Teflon tape for the nozzle threads. We'll examine the contents of the maintenance kits at the tail end of this video. Reviewing the major parts of the Barracuda, we have the shield, head, cap, body, a port screw, and inlet end with the seal stack up inside. The first step in disassembly is to remove the seal stack up from inside the inlet end of the body. Use a pick to remove the o-ring that holds the stack up in the shaft. With the o-ring removed, the stack up should drop out of the shaft freely. You may need to tap the tool gently so the pieces fall out. Before moving on, disassemble the seal stack up as shown and set the parts aside for cleaning and examination. These are wear items. Now place the tool in a vise with the head end up. Remove the shield with a 5 32nd inch hex wrench exposing the two nozzles. Remove the nozzles with a 9 16 inch socket wrench. Move the tool up in the vise and secure using the flats on the body. Remove the port screw using a slot screwdriver. Next, loosen the cap with an adjustable wrench. Once the cap is loose, Flip the tool in the vise and continue unscrewing the body as shown, exposing the internal parts. ATF may drain out the bottom at this time. This is to be expected. Remove the BC009 bearing. Use a pick to remove the washer. Slide the brass sleeve off. The weight set has a spring attached to the lower end. Use a pick to disconnect the spring from the weight set and slide it off. The second end of the spring is attached to the shaft via a small hole. Use your pick to disconnect it and slide it off the shaft. Loosen the shaft with an adjustable wrench and unscrew it. With the shaft removed, you can slide the cap up and off along with the RJ007 bearing. Note the shaft seal inside the cap. We'll remove that in a moment. Now use your pick to remove the two O-rings as shown and set aside for cleaning. These two O-rings are different, so please take note of their placement. We'll review the order again during reassembly. Place the body back in the vise. Use a pick to remove the O-ring from the base of the threads. Now take the modified snap ring pliers and remove the shaft seal from inside the body. With the seal removed, the body should look like this. Finally, place the cap in the vise and use a slot screwdriver to remove the shaft seal. Your disassembly is now complete. Wash all parts in solvent and blow dry. Examine the wear items carefully. They are the shaft seals, O-rings, a port screw, bearing rings, washer, a carbide seat, high pressure seal, a seal holder and inlet seat, spring, and a brass sleeve. Begin reassembly at the press where you will install the shaft seals in the cap and the body. We recommend using P80 Gripit or a similar lubricant when installing all shaft seals. Begin with the cap. Using the SL105 spacer tool, press the shaft seal into the cap. Note the lip side is down. Repeat the procedure with the body. Place the shaft seal on the MT105 spacer tool and press into the body. The lip side faces up when installing this seal. Finally, Replace the o-ring at the base of the threads. We're finished at the press, so let's head back to the vise. Secure the head in the vise with the shaft end up. It's time to replace the two o-rings. Place the backup o-ring on first. 
It has a flat edge on one side and is concave on the other. The concave side should face up to receive the standard o-ring that rests on top. Next, generously grease the shaft seal in the cap and at the same time apply some grease to the shaft and o-rings. Place the cap on the head, followed by the RJ007 bearing. Note, the wider inner race faces up with this bearing ring. Apply the blue goop anti-seize to the threads on the head and screw the shaft onto the head. Tighten with an adjustable wrench. Attach one spring end to the hole in the weight set. Slide it onto the shaft and locate the hole in the shaft. This is where your second spring end will attach. Place the washer on top of the weight set. Note, the washer has a chamfer side, which in this case should face down. Slide the brass sleeve over the assembly and place the BC009 bearing on top. This bearing has no wide inner race. It can be placed on the shaft with either side up. Apply anti-seize to the threads on the body. Grease the shaft seal in the body and at the same time apply grease to the shaft itself. Screw the body into the gap. Hand tighten. Now flip the tool in the vise and secure using the flats on the body. Tighten with an adjustable wrench. Note the wrench is on the cap flats. Next, Flip the tool and replace the nozzles with a 9 16 inch socket wrench. Note the Teflon tape on the nozzle threads. Follow that with the shield using a 5 32 inch hex wrench to tighten the two shield bolts. To reassemble the seal stack up, start by replacing the o-ring in the inlet seat. Next, grease the high pressure seal and insert it into the seal holder with the o-ring in going in first. Press it in far enough to leave a 1 inch recess. You will place the carbide seat in this recess. Follow this with the carbide seat already greased and place it in the recess. Now assemble the inlet seat and the seal holder together as shown with the carbide seat facing up. You're ready to place the stack up back in the body. For this procedure, we recommend using a ballpoint pen or similar shaped item for positioning the seal stack up back in the body as shown. This keeps the assembly together while loading it into the body. With the stack up in, replace the o-ring in the groove to hold the stack up in place. It's time to fill the tool with automatic transmission fluid. Fill the syringe with fluid and screw it into the port screw hole. As you fill with ATF, pause several times to spin the body and lift it. This will settle the ATF and force the bubbles up and out. Apply fluid until it oozes from the slots in the inlet as shown. Wipe off the excess ATF with a rag and replace the port screw with a slot screwdriver. Your BCK reassembly is now complete. Before we finish up, let's look at the maintenance kits for your Barracuda. This is the BC612 toolkit. It contains the two spacer tools used when installing the shaft seals. This is the BC600 service kit. It contains written instructions with diagrams, o-rings, a carbide seat, high pressure seal, and anti-seize. You will also find a supply of ATF and a syringe applicator. The BC610 overhaul kit naturally has more items when it's time for a rebuild. You'll find written instructions, shaft seals, o-rings, a carbide seat, high pressure seal, a seal holder and inlet seat, spring, a port screw, bearing rings, washer, brass sleeve, anti-seize, and ATF. To maximize the use of your downtime, we recommend using all the parts in each of these kits when performing maintenance procedures. Thanks for your attention and remember our technical specialists are always on hand to answer any questions or issues you may have.